Hello everybody, today we are going to do an antibiotic susceptible DSA using Kirby Power test. This test is also known as disk diffusion assay. As materials we need overnight bacterial cultures. Here we use Bacillus subtilis, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Escherichia coli BL21 and Escherichia coli BL21 with PET28 AGFB plasmid. I would like you to do a little research on PET28 AGFP plasmid and see which antibiotic resistance gene it contains. Also, autoclade filter discs, three antibiotics, ampicillin, canamycin, tetracycline with each having a concentration of 1 microgram per microliter, forceps, MB agar plates, swaps and 96% ethanol is needed. First of all, we start with the preparation of the antibiotic discs. Make sure that you work in aseptic conditions throughout the experiment. Using an empty petri dish that you divided to three with a marker, place four empty sterilized antibiotic discs into each division. Each division represents different antibiotics and as we have four different bacterial cultures to be tested, we are going to need a total of 12 discs. The antibiotics that we use in this experiment are canamycin, ampicillin and tetracycline with each having a concentration of 1 microgram per microliter. After placing the disc to the empty petri dish, 10 microliters of the antibiotic of choice is added to each disc using a micropipette. Through this step, each disc will contain 10 micrograms of antibiotics in it. When the discs are ready, divide each agar plate into three with a marker and label it accordingly. When inoculating the agar plate with swaps, 200 microliters of the culture is added onto plate as a straight line that passes through the center. After 200 microliters of culture is added, use a sterile swap to streak parallel lines to cover the entire surface of the medium.
After the first streaking, rotate the petri dish 90 degrees and repeat the streaking process. When the inoculation is completed, place the antibiotic disc into the middle of each division accordingly. For example, add canamycin disc to the canamycin division. When each disc is placed, apply a small amount of pressure on the disc with the forceps that is used. Even if it is not in the middle, do not move the discs after placing them, otherwise this can change the results. When you're done, flip the plate upside down and check the discs for stability. Discs should be stuck on the medium surface and shouldn't fall. Repeat this process for each plate. After the plates are ready, incubate the culture at 37 degrees for 24 hours in an incubator. Analyze your results the next day by measuring the diameters of the resulting inhibition zones. Thank you for listening and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.